This year's South End Garden Tour will take place on June 17th, organized by the trustees. Each year's tour offers new locations and attractions. I'd like to welcome as our guest from the trustees, the engagement site manager for the South End and Lower Roxbury, Peter Baum. Thank you very much for being with us, Peter. Thanks for having me, Chris. Professor Peter, for people who don't know the history here, uh, who are the trustees? So the trustees is a, a, land, a statewide land conservation organization that was started in 1891 by Charles Elliott. There are over 116 distinctive properties across the state, and the Boston region is our newest focus. So it includes, uh, and, and it includes what I do, which are the, uh, I'm a player in the community gardens. Um, there are, we own 55 community gardens in the city of Boston, and my particular area of focus is the South End and Lower Roxbury the original South End Lower Roxbury Open Space Land Trust Gardens. And, and Chris, uh, in, in this part of the city, gardens, uh, some of them are private and they're nice to look at on a tour, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> some of the other gardens, uh, especially the larger community gardens, these are what people need for, for their food. A absolutely. We are, we are within the trustees in the agriculture uh, department of the, tr the zone of the trustees, and that's not a mistake. Um, these are about producing fresh, healthy food for everyone. Yeah. Well, one of the things you do with this tour every year is you have it in different parts of the South End. So, so where is the bulk of this going to be happening on the 17th? So, so this year it is, and, and I define it by neighborhood associations. Um, it's the 8th Streets, Union Park, Old Dover, and Soa neighborhoods. So roughly it is from the Ink Block, uh, the new Ink Block buildings, over to Dartmouth or West Dedham Street, and then Tremont Street down to Albany Street if that helps. Now, for people who don't know the South End, you know, I, I think you can say, uh, without much dispute, it isn't a very long walk, but, but it's, it's almost like worlds apart. Union Park and the Ink Block, these are two different zones. Isn't that the wonderful part of all of this? Um, and that's new this time around, because the, the tour rotates through the South End. We come back to the same space every fifth year. So five years ago, there wasn't a lot going on in the Ink Block. Um, so, so we have an ink block spur to the, uh, to the tour this year that is going to show people, you know, the, the so open markets, pedestrian, uh, pedestrian streets, and also some of an open space or two uh, within the ink block developments, and also the plans for a park that is being built now under the Southeast Expressway, which unfortunately was supposed to be done earlier this year. <laughs> <laughs> this is BNN News, and we're talking about the South End Garden Tour with Peter Bond of the Trustees. Uh, Peter, for people who also are unfamiliar with this part of the city, uh, talk about what these gardens are like, because they must be saying, I mean, this is a dense neighborhood, you know, buildings cheek by jowl. How do you find room for anything? Yeah. So it's, and that's always an interesting sort of puzzle for the owners. The, the South End, I, if I'm getting this right, is the largest intact urban Victorian neighborhood left in the country. So it's, a, it's an incredibly unique sort of gem of a neighborhood. But you've got tall buildings, you know, not large yards, uh, either public or private alleys to deal with for access and utilities. So all of these things come into play when people are working on their outdoor space. But um, so basically people carve out space in their backyards. Um, and they de they have to deal with things like, you know, drainage and parking and access and circulation and everything that happens in an urban space. Yeah. Well, I, I imagine some of these backyards have had a lot of attention put into them, a lot of designing and creativity. Uh, and I guess people can get a chance to uh, to talk about that too, how it all got put together. Right. So, and it it runs the gamut this year. Um, you know, this year we are we have and I'm, I'm doing this off the top of my head, uh, but about 13 to 15 private backyard open only on the day of the tour gardens that you enter off of the alleys. That's a little bit, we fell a little short in that last year. Um, that, that ratio has been restored. So, and what you'll see is you've got some people who have been there for 20 or 30 years working these places. They bought the houses when the, <clears throat> when the houses need work and the yards were basically ailanthus trees and piles of bricks. And they have themselves sort of, you know, piece by piece restored this, um, you know, with, often without a lot of resources, but with a love of gardening. And then you run the gamut to the new stuff at the ink block or a new development 
um, a, a new rehab on Union Park that is just done and really is more of a, it's a hardscape and it's a palette for someone to come in and to sort of complete the work on. But it's a, again, a fascinating space. It's beautifully executed and it deals with all of these sort of urban issues of, you know, how do you park? How do you get the kids to the car? Where do you put the stroller kind of thing that were never an issue when this neighborhood was built. Uh, another ingredient here is some artwork, and this is also from a community organization. Mm -hmm. Right. United South End Artists, the open studios folks. Um, we've, we have partnered with them since uh, 2011, and they'll have some artists in the, the green spaces painting during the day. And then at the end of the tour, uh, we, re we regroup and gather at the city or headquarters. Um, and they do a display and a sale of their wet works. We should mention if, if people want to go to this, uh, mm -hmm. they do have to get tickets. So is, what's the best way to find that out? How do yes, you do that? it is a fundraiser for the community gardens. I need to say that. Right. Um, so, uh, and I would also say, buy your tickets in advance. They're cheaper. Uh, they're available on our website, uh, thetrustees.org forward slash SEGT for South End Garden Tour. But if you just get to our trustees re website, you'll be able to navigate that. They'll also be available um, for slightly more at the day of, you can buy them at the start point of the tour, which is the Berkeley Community Garden on Tremont Street at the corner of East Berkeley. Thank you very much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Peter Baum from the Trustees.